tis the season for giving and i'm sure you have presents to wrap so in this video i am going to share 11 gift wrapping ideas so that your gifts stand out from the rest hey there my name is yami i am your latina next door welcome back to mi casa don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can get more videos like this So for this very first gift wrapping idea, I'm gonna show you how to do a double envelope pocket wrap for the front of your present. You can insert a card, insert greenery, a small ornament, anything that you want to add on to it. And it's really simple to make. As you can see, you want a nice amount of gift wrap on either side of your gift. And you want to tape your gift wrap about two thirds of the way up on the front side of your gift. Next, on one side, you're gonna want to create a triangle and you're gonna wanna fold it to the front of your gift. Now, this works best when your gift wrap is a little bit thinner. With the thicker, very high foil gift wrap, it might tend to be a little bit more difficult to create these creases, just keep that in mind. Now I'm trying to take my time to show you how to do this exactly. A lot of tutorials online go way too fast and they don't have very good instructions. So I'm hoping that at this pace, it will be easier to understand. I'm gonna do the exact same thing on this side, taking that very first triangle fold and then putting it over the first one. Then I'm gonna take the right triangle that's remaining again and then cross that over on that side. After I have that one down, I am going to take the left one and wrap it over again. Now, if it helps, you can tape these as you go. As you can see here, you can apply a little bit of tape to this corner. And finally, you're gonna fold and close that remaining end piece as you would a normal gift. Add a little bit of greenery or a card and your gift is done. Now, if that one was a little bit complicated, I do have another option for an envelope gift wrapping, and this one is a lot easier. Cut your gift wrap so that it's a little bit longer than what you would normally need. At about the halfway point, you want to lift it up and fold it onto itself, as you see right here. Make sure your edges align and that you do a nice firm press on that crease so that it'll stay. Bring your gift back. And I like to place the fold a little bit higher on the gift, about two thirds of the way up. And then you are going to wrap your gift as normal. I like to fold my edge in like this so that when I place it on top and secure it, it has a nice clean edge. And I totally picked up the wrong tape when I did this and didn't pick up the perfectly clear one. So make sure you have some of the very clear tape. Insert your card and your gift is done. So this next one is my favorite. And what you're gonna do is wrap your gift like you normally would. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get yourself some ribbon and in order for this to work, you're gonna need ribbon that is finished on both sides. You're gonna wrap it vertically on your gift and with a little bit of hot glue or tape, if you wish, you are going to join the two ends together. Mm -hmm. 
Next, you're gonna need a second piece of that same ribbon. And you're gonna take the end of it and hot glue it to the top portion of that ribbon that is already on your gift. Next, you're gonna fold and bring that ribbon underneath that vertical ribbon on your gift. This is why you need a finished double-sided ribbon because you will see the underside as you fold them and continue your way down. Feel free to add a little dab of hot glue as you work your way down the ribbon. You're gonna continue doing this, folding your ribbon and bringing it back under the vertical ribbon. As you work your way down, you're gonna be making the ribbon on either side of the vertical ribbon a little wider. As you see, the cutest little Christmas tree begins to form. Now when you get to the bottom of your Christmas tree, you're gonna want to cut your ribbon and adhere it underneath the vertical piece. And the vertical ribbon will be the base of your Christmas tree. Now in order to secure everything, you're gonna want to add a little dollop of hot glue where each of the ribbons meets the vertical one so that they don't slide up and down and they stay in place. You may very well leave your tree like this or you can add a little wooden star or snowflake at the top in order to top it off. And that is it for this gift. This idea is for your larger box gifts. Sometimes when we have larger gifts, it's a little bit harder to fill like that empty space with like a ribbon. So I thought, let's go ahead and add a little wreath to the front of it and I'll show you how to attach it. And it can also be an additional little gift for your person that you're given to. So this is what I did. Now you can either buy a brand new wreath or if you have one that's a little bit outdated that you don't need anymore, you can always decorate it and give it a nice makeover and use that and then pass it on to someone else. And this is what I'm doing here. This little wreath had seen better days. And so I added a little bit of greenery and a little bit of berries to just kind of liven it up a little bit and make it look so much better. Next, you're going to place the wreath on top of your gift box and you're going to add a nice, thick, large size ribbon. I'm using this beautiful navy velvet one that I had on hand. It is wired, but it doesn't need to be. Now you're going to put it underneath your gift and you're going to bring both ends over the front. You're going to wrap the ribbon over and under your wreath and kind of back underneath itself so that you can hot glue that end together. You're going to pull the other end of the ribbon over and you are going to make sure you cut so that you have enough ribbon that goes over underneath and back onto itself on the other side as well. Now, in order to make this work as best as possible, make sure that you pull your ribbon as taut as possible. And as you can see, I flipped my gift here so you can see a little bit better. When you have that nice and taut, glue those ends together and your gift is done.
Now let's just say that you're running out of time and you don't have time to go out to the store and get some more bows or you want to keep things on a budget. This one's for you. Now the width will depend on the size of your gift. This one that I'm doing right now is about three inches wide. You're going to start folding it into a fan pattern and my folds were about half inches wide. You'll need anywhere between 24 to 36 inches in length. Now this actually wasn't long enough so I had to add another piece. Now when you attach these, make sure you attach one that goes up underneath one that goes down. That way it's nice and seamless. Now once you have your desired length, you're gonna need to connect the two ends together. And then again, make sure that one of your pieces goes up and underneath the other one. You're gonna stand up your piece in a circle and then push it down and you'll create your beautiful circle shaped fan. And so this next part can get a little tricky because it does want to expand when you let go. Just simply try to hold it as best you can, apply a little bit of hot glue in the center and to finish it off, add a little star in the middle. Flip it over, add some double-sided tape, adhere it to your gift, and this one is done. This one is another gift bow idea. You're gonna need some double-sided cardstock or scrapbook paper. You're gonna cut it into two inch pieces and you're going to fold it in half. Then starting on the open end, you're gonna cut it in and kind of create something that looks like a fish. When you open it up, it's gonna look like this, two little fishies kissing each other. You're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna make a little cut on the top and on the bottom of those ends right there. And take those two pieces, bring them together, and where you made those little slits, you're gonna join those two end pieces. You're gonna open up their fish tails and then you are going to push in their little smooch and you're gonna create a bow. Use a little bit of hot glue to hold the bow together. You can leave them as is, or you can add a little detail like this little pine cone that I added to the center. Add the bow to your gift and it's complete. For this next DIY, you're gonna start wrapping your gift like you would normally. However, you want to only have your gift wrap overlap at the very edge just a tiny bit. You're gonna take your ends and you're going to fold them as you would normally your regular gifts. However, we're gonna add a little bit of detail to the front of your gift in case you're tired of the same old, same old. You're gonna want one triangle on the top and on the bottom. And if you have a little piece like this that's a little bit extra hanging over, don't worry, we'll address that in just a second. See, instead of folding it towards you, you're gonna fold it to the top of your gift. And that piece right there, you're gonna fold it in. And it's like you're gonna be creating almost like an envelope fold for the front of your gift. And that second piece, you're gonna bring up pointing in the same direction. Make sure you hold them in place with a little bit of clear plastic tape. Now you can do the same thing to the other side. However, sometimes our papers don't end up being the same length because of maybe the placement that we did originally, and that's okay. If it's a little bit too short like it's gonna be for me here, then what I did is I folded down that top triangle and then folded up 
that end piece so that the two outer pieces kind of meet up right here. You can leave it like that or in this case, I decided to add some of that velvet ribbon. I hot glued both ends together and then I added a little velvet bow to the seam. I used a little bit of hot glue to attach the bow and my gift was complete. Now, if you're more into the solid color packaging, maybe you don't like a lot of prints or you prefer to use packaging paper, this is how you can add more character to those gift wrap presents. For this, you're gonna need six pieces of ribbon and you're gonna need some for your vertical length as well as your horizontal length. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your ribbon and put all three on one side of your gift box. Simply take a little dollop of hot glue and join your pieces together. We are doing this three times here. However, you can add more if you wish. Flip your gift over to the right side. You're gonna take your other three ribbons and you're gonna basket weave them as you see here. Flip your gift over and then adhere those ends together. You can always push that seam underneath one of the existing ribbons so that you can hide it. And then continue doing the same thing to the rest. Flip your gift over and adjust the spacing between the ribbons so that they're even. Next, you can add a little bit of greenery as well as a wooden snowflake or any type of ornament. Tie the two together and adhere it on your package. And then with that, this gift is done. Now this next one is pretty much the same concept. However, I wanted to show you an example of mixing the mediums, basically not just using ribbon alone for this option. Now for this, I'm using three pieces of this beautiful velvet green ribbon, and I'm gonna mix it up with some jute, and it might not seem like a likely combination. However, it does go very well together. And I'm just gonna do the same basket weaving technique as I did. However, with the jute, you don't have to glue it together. All you have to do is tie it in a little knot and then slip it underneath the ribbon to hide the knot. And I wanted to show that I found this really cute Christmas cutting board at Hobby Lobby. It's not in the ornament section. It's actually in the dining and tableware section. And I thought it would be perfect for somebody who enjoys cooking or anything farmhouse related. And all I did was take the little hanging portion of the Joy little cutting board and I just tied it on to the jute string. Now this next gift wrapping technique is for items that have kind of like a really weird top. It's not completely square and it also works very well for bottles. Now simply lay your gift on the center of the gift wrap piece that you've got cut out. I am gonna be removing the excess off the bottom because all you need is the regular amount on the bottom of the gift. For the top portion of the gift that does not have the flat side, you're gonna need anywhere between seven to eight inches in length of your wrapping paper. Next, you're gonna start wrapping your gift as you normally would. Enclose the bottom flat surface of the gift as you normally would. Then on the other end, you're going to flatten that very top part and you're gonna start folding it accordion style. 
and just keep flipping it over on its side and folding it down until you get to the very top tip of your gift. Once you get to the point where you feel it on top of your gift, you're gonna flatten it and then you're gonna hold it on the center while you spread both sides of your fan. You're gonna actually put a little bit of tape to hold it in place. Now, instead of using the complete wide piece, I did cut it in half so I can have a smaller little section of tape and that's what I used for the center. Now you're gonna to wanna to try and open up those little fans and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some ribbon Wrap that vertically, have it go through the center of the fan and then bring it all the way around and glue those two ends together. Now you can leave your gift like this or if you want to open up the fan a little bit more, you can get a little piece of tape and tape the two sections together so it can be nice and full all the way around the top. And that is it for this gift. This next one is for those odd shaped little gifts, kind of like a stuffed animal or maybe even if you have some loose slippers, here is what you need. Now for this, you're gonna want just enough paper to cover the gift. For the paper though, you need to have a craft-like thick paper. Flimsy paper will not hold up to this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold that paper in half and you're gonna fold it again onto itself. You wanna make sure you press those creases down very firmly. After you created those two creases, you're gonna wanna open it back up and on that very first open end, you're gonna want to seal that with some tape. It might be easier if you face that open end towards you and then you work in small sections. So what I'm doing here is adhering half the length of that piece of tape to one side, flipping it over and then folding over that piece of tape on the other side of the paper. Here's a closer look. Once that edge is nice and sealed with tape, you're gonna fold it back over onto itself and then you're gonna fold the ends about four inches in. Next, you're gonna take your scissors and a cutting at an angle from inside to out, as you see me doing here, you're gonna cut both ends. When you do this and open up your paper, it's gonna look like this. Now that crease that's facing inward, you're gonna wanna pop that crease outward. Now when you insert your gift, make sure that you wrap it around with a little bit of tissue paper because the pieces won't completely close on all ends and you might get some curious little eyes peeking before Christmas day. Now next, what you wanna do is get some ribbon and tie it around the edges like this. Do this to both ends and this has got to be one of the most cutest ideas ever. So this is for people who want to keep things a little simple and just want a classic bow over your gift. This is also going to help you reuse that ribbon if you wish to do so because there is going to be no glue involved. Cut yourself a generous amount of ribbon, put it on the front of your gift, leaving excess on the right as you see there. Bring the left side under and over your front piece. Then take the two and twist them onto each other. Take the bottom piece, the one I have in my left hand, and go under and then back over the gift. 
make sure to pull the ribbon so that it's nice and taut. And then you're gonna grab the top ribbon and bring it down over the front of that smaller piece that's on my right hand. You're gonna take it and wrap it underneath the cross in the center. And now you're gonna have your two pieces for your bow. Cut the pieces at an angle and you're set. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a like and let me know in the comments below which one of these gift wrapping styles was your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week with another home decor and DIY video. Until then, adios.